Hi there, and welcome to Storytime with Kay. Today we will read The Impatient Dinosaur by Sarah Reed. This book was published in 2020. Danny the Dinosaur is a great little guy. Although usually patient, he can't understand why. He should have to wait for anything. Waiting makes him mad. It's the main thing he complains about to his mom and dad. When Danny was out with his mom at the grocery store, he didn't want to stand in the checkout line anymore. Mama, he said, why can't we just go to the front and pay? I really want to leave now so I can go home and play. His mom explained, Danny, we can't just jump the queue. We have to wait our turn like good dinosaurs do. But my tummy feels knotted, he said, and my face feels red. You're upset. Take deep breaths and it will pass, his mom said. After dropping the groceries at home, they went to the mall. Mom said if Danny behaved while she shopped, he could get a new ball. When they got to the toy store, it was closed for lunch break, the sign read. I don't want to wait, whined Danny. Can we go elsewhere instead? Danny paced up and down and became bothered and hot. You promised I'd get a new ball, and yet I have not. It won't be long, Mom said. She was right. They soon opened the door. Danny forgot his upset as he bounced his new ball on the floor. Later that week, Danny was out with Mom and Dad in the car. We've been here forever, he complained, and haven't moved very far. Be patient, Danny boy. Traffic's bad, but it won't last, said Dad. Danny huffed and puffed and said, I'm fed up and I feel really mad. To cheer him up, Mom told Danny something to make him smile. We have a surprise for your birthday, but you have to wait a while. I'm sure you will love it. If you're patient enough, you'll see. You know I hate waiting, said Danny. It makes me unhappy. Give me a clue, Danny quizzed them, feeling excited inside. What color is it? How big and what shape? Is it skinny or wide? These are excellent questions, but I don't want to give it away, Mom said. You'll have to be patient longer until your special day. Think about how great you'll feel once your birthday is here. If we told you now, Dad said, your day wouldn't feel special this year. Danny thought about what they'd said, and he knew they were right. Waiting is hard, but he would try to do it with all of his might. Before long, the wait was over. It was finally Danny's day. But when he woke up, he expected the surprise straight away. He complained as he followed his mom and dad through the hall. He peeked in every room but could see no surprise at all. They walked into the kitchen to hear, Surprise! yelled so loud. Danny jumped and giggled as he looked around at the crowd. Family and friends gave birthday greetings, hugs, and presents galore. It was the best birthday Danny had ever had and worth waiting for. The End Thank you for reading along. Be sure to rate and follow my page for new episodes posted daily.